Hey everybody, it's Daddy and Micah. Micah! Hey Micah, what do you have in your pocket? What do you have in your pocket? Take it out and see. What's in your pocket? It's not a listing, is it? What is it? It's not a listing. It's a penny! <laughs> nice. But we don't take pocket listings, do we? No, we do. We take pocket listings? Daddy, don't tell anybody. Hey guys, it's Nima and Micah. Want to talk today about pocket listings. A lot of people are talking about pocket listings and off-market transactions. And, and Micah, what's in your pocket? Your other pocket. <laughs> Let's go check. Why, does pocket, well, why do pocket listings hurt buyers and sellers? Most Nothing. of them, huh? Nothing. It doesn't hurt them? Nothing. Oh, there's nothing in your pocket. Because pocket listings suck, dude. They're not good. Hey, Let me... Daddy, two excavators. <laughs> Three excavators, you're right. So guys, pocket listings hurt sellers because the property is not properly exposed. You, you don't expose it to the guys that are really aggressive. Trade buyers, people that are new to the market outside capital that sees local product much more aggressively than guys that have been buying on the same street for 20 years, right? The guy from outside thinks the property or the area is appreciating. They always pay more than the guy that owns a building three doors down. So for the most time, for the most part, how does it hurt buyers? Pocket listings hurt buyers because as a buyer, you want to transact, you want to put your equity to work, you want to do a deal. And if you have a pocket listing, that means you have an agent that doesn't have control of their client, that doesn't have control of real estate, and the, you don't have clear direction and commitment from the owner, right, Micah? No. We need commitment. Say commitment. Mm. It helps everybody to have a secured property on the market. Sometimes sellers feel they lose control, right? That's why they give pocket listings. They tell 10 people, hey, you know, if you hit 8 million, I'll sell it. Mm -hmm. All right, but it really hurts everyone. Find the right guy, put him in your corner, put the property on the market, it helps. And if you want to put something in Micah's pocket, Micah, what should we put in your pocket? One quarter? You can buy bubble gum. Okay. Should we put it in your pocket? You want it? You want the pocket or pocket listings? No pocket listings. Just. <laughs> you want pocket listings? No. Just take the quarter. Bye, guys. Don't be afraid to commit to somebody as long as they're qualified, they're aggressive, they're in the market, and they understand the product. Put them in your corner and have a great day. Say bye, Micah. Where is it? You're a magician. Bye, guys.